With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, in a constant volume gas thermometer, the pressure of the working gas is measured by the difference in the levels of mercury in the two arms of a U-tube connected to the gas at one end. When the bulb is placed at room temperature, which is at 27 degrees Celsius, the mercury column in the arm open to atmosphere stands 5 cm above the level of mercury in other arm. When the bulb is placed in a hot liquid, the difference of mercury levels becomes 45 cm. Now we have to calculate the temperature of the liquid. The atmospheric pressure is given as 75 cm of mercury. Now let's consider our two cases here. This is case first. This is case second. The rise in mercury level here is H1 is equal to 5 cm of mercury and this end of the manometer is open to the atmosphere that's why the pressure here would be the rise in mercury level plus the atmospheric pressure so the rise in mercury level is 5 cm mercury plus the atmospheric pressure which is which is given as 75 cm of mercury so this comes out to be 80 cm mercury similarly in the second case when the bulb is placed in a hot liquid the rise in mercury level h2 is equal to 45 cm so the total pressure here is p2 is equal to 45 centimeter mercury plus atmospheric pressure which is 75 centimeter mercury so this comes out to be 120 centimeter mercury now according to gale lussac's law the pressure of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature of gas when the volume is kept constant which means p the pressure is directly proportional to absolute temperature let us say it is t to remove the sign of the proportionality let's just place here a constant k now k is an arbitrary constant and we can also write p1 upon p2 is equal to t1 upon t2 in the first case the temperature was room temperature which was 27 degrees celsius the temperature in the second case let's just say this is t2 so in order to calculate t2 t2 is equal to t1 into p2 divided by p1 T1, the absolute temperature is 27 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. This is done to convert it into Kelvin. The pressure in second case is 120 centimeter of mercury. And pressure here is 80 centimeter of mercury. So, the temperature comes out to be 450.22 Kelvin or we can subtract 273.15 from it to get 177.07 degree Celsius or simply we can write 177 degree Celsius is the temperature of the hot liquid. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.